afternoon. Today is September 14th, 13th, 2014, and this is my three months on testosterone update video. Technically, I should have done it on the 9th. However, I've been really busy with school, homework, supply stuff, and groceries, so I unfortunately did not have a chance to do it on my official three month date. So right now, I am going to be talking about changes that I've been noticing thus far, as well as my experience so far with college and residence and things like that. So just kind of general stuff. And yeah, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into changes thus far. Within the past week, I have noticed a really slight change in my voice very exciting um it's really really small not very noticeable people who spend like most days with me would not notice like i don't notice unless i'm looking back from my first video that i made to a video that i made on my three month date and then i was like barely noticing it but it is there so that's encouraging it's starting yay um, <clears throat> I noticed definitely a raised libido for sure, teenage boy thing. I totally get it now. It's just like raging hormones and you're like, holy, and yeah, anybody who is transitioning, you get it. I know it. And people who are going to be transitioning, just wait. So, moving on from that, I have noticed um, something that maybe, yes, we don't necessarily want to talk about, but I've noticed some acne happening. Not so cool, um, but it's not really excessive for the most part. Like, I've noticed a little bit, like, around my face. I have some on my neck, which is also, like, ingrown hairs, which is annoying. Um, just like from shaving. Uh, I like the shaving part, that's fun. Um, just the ingrown hairs following it. Not necessarily so fun. I've also got some happening here. Not ingrown hairs, but like acne as well as on my back. And luckily nobody sees that though. I'm not in a relationship, so there's no risk there. And yeah, so that's hidden all the time anyways, so it's not really an issue. Aside from that, I have noticed some darker hair on my arms. It's still really thin and not very noticeable. Um, if you're in like the sun, you can tell that they're a bit darker than the ones I used to have. They're really, really blonde and just small. I have a lot of hair on my arms. It's just really thin. Um, it is also kind of creeping up here a little bit. I have like two chest hairs like right here. So they're really thin hairs, but two chest hairs. What? Yay. So that's, that's cool. My happy trail or treasure trail it's going good. Um, mind my white ridiculousness, but like, this is what's happening with that so far. And it's, yeah, ignore that. Um, yeah, I've also started going to the gym, so I'm gonna get rid of this little whatever. I go six days a week, and I've got like a defined schedule for that. I figure as long as I can get at least one hour in, no matter how much homework I have, like you have to make time for yourself to like better yourself. You're probably gonna do more effective work if you've gone to the gym and you've got all the good juices flowing of, you know, I can't think of the word right now, that scientific one. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try and think of it. You know what I'm talking about, just good energy and things like that. As well, um, oh, on the hair thing, it's 
crazy. Um, I've always just been like a really hairy person, but my legs are like pretty impressive and it goes all the way up. My mom earlier this summer was just like, oh my God, you're really hairy. And I'm like, I know. She's like, have you always been that hairy? I'm like, yeah. She's like, wow, that must have been really annoying. I was like, yeah. Because when you're living as a female, well, living in a female body, you have to keep up certain appearances for the most part. You have to shave. I literally had to shave from my ankle all the way up to like here. And then I still had like, yeah, it was just awkward. I'm like, mm. like I, yeah, sexual encounters, awkward. I'm like, don't touch me. Not only was that like super dysphoric anyways, but like certain things made it worse. Cause obviously at that time people like were like seeing you as a female and they're weird anyways. So, um, yeah, but it's great because now I can I'm can just embrace the hair and be totally stoked about it. Um, yeah, that's about all I've really noticed for changes 